What's up guys, Robert Thomas here with Earn Way You Learn and I'm here to teach you how you can make $10,000 or save $10,000 in four years while you're in college or three years. Um, real simple and easy and I'll give you the breakdown. But remember please to like and subscribe and we also have the book Earn Way You Learn. You can get it off Amazon, we got the ebook and we got the paperback and um, you should check it out. So I'm gonna break it down to you real quick how you can make or save $10,000 while in college. Okay, so let's look at it. How to save $10,000 in four years, okay? So you got enter college as, as a freshman, and this is the way you need a plan. So you will enter college the four year, right? We objective is 10 years by the time we graduate. So we divided 10,000 by four, which give us with 2,500 we need to make each year. Now, we go a step further, uh, 12 months, right, in a year, and we're trying to accomplish 2,500. So we divided 2,500 by 12, we get $208.33 we need to save every month. Divide that by four, which is four weeks in a month, $208 divided by four, we just need to save $52 per week. And if we wanna go a step further, we can divide $52.08 divided by seven, seven days in a week, we need to save $7.44 a day for four years and we'll have $10,000 in our bank account. Cool. Now, if you're in three-year college, if you're third year, right? So you got uh, you got three years left. So you have ten thousand divided by three, which means every year you're gonna make three thousand three hundred and thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents. Divide that by twelve, and we get two hundred and seventy-seven dollars we need to make each month. And you already know if you're in a two-year in college. If you're in two years in college, you need to save five thousand dollars per year, which divided by twelve, you need to make four hundred and sixteen dollars and sixty-six cents per month in order to achieve ten thousand. Now, when we look over here, I got a list of jobs. You know, um, I became by earn what you learn. We're saying having a job like DoorDash. You don't have a schedule when you don't have class, when they don't have things going on, you do DoorDash. Some people do DoorDash, make up to $500 per week. That's more than enough to cover per month. No, you got people that can do makeup on campus. You got makeup, when you make some financial makeup, you can save that each month and put towards the goal. Some people have a car, you can do Hoover and definitely get um, hours in and you can definitely save each Work month. study, people work in the library, people work in the cafeteria, people work at tutoring, all those good stuff that you can do. We got tutoring, doing someone homework, you can get a, um, revenue from that and use that to save and accomplish the, ten, the, the four year goal, which is 10,000. We got refund checks. We can get the refund checks, we can put the refund checks right aside and we already accomplished for the whole year. Um, so we had to put that aside and know where that is going. We can resell our books. Well, we buy our books in classes and we finish the classes. We can resell the book for some of the prices and use that to also save towards uh, accomplishing the 10 year goal. We got YouTube. When people use YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? People that are doing their personal blog, their personal blog, they definitely can use YouTube and the revenue from YouTube to save towards it. People do here and campus. A lot of people do wear, weed, all that stuff. Some people cut here for the guys. They call it barbering and stuff like that to do it. No, I would suggest getting a separate bank account. Just get a bank account and don't get no card so you don't have to have no card to spend. You can't buy anything on the internet. So you just have that sit in the bank and for the four year you keep developing and putting more, right? We got weekly uh, withdrawal from a one bank to another bank. So you schedule a week weekly deposit of uh, $52 every week to your new bank account that you can see because you know the objective or you can get someone else to keep tab and to keep an account for you and you'll keep giving the money putting the money in there and they ensure that you do not uh touch it no you can also invest some of your money for the long period for the four year ask an investor like if you don't know ask somebody that know how to invest you got professors that do investment you got professors that uh that do trade stock market, got professors like in the business, got nowhere else 
to get best advice than to go to the business building to get advice from the business professors and the business students. Other students also invest and they trade and they do a lot of different stuff. And when you heard about investment, I know everyone always hear investment, thinking about stocks and bonds and investment in a different company and real estate. So you can do investment as simple as someone already have a business, successful business doing, she buy 10, 10 product per, per week and she would actually sell them and make money. You can offer to increase that to 15 per week. So you give her an extra five and when she sell it, you get us a percentage on your money back each week. So you can also invest that way too as well. And I hope this give you some insight and help you and show you that this is a big objective where you break it down and you know your, um, your goal is definitely obtainable and that would be good. Uh, $10,000 you want to increase this if you get some more money you come out of college with $20,000 that's enough to make a down payment on a house put you up to a good start um, in life so I hope you enjoyed remember to subscribe to uh, Earn What You Learn and YouTube and also follow Earn What You Learn on Instagram